You guys are familiar with the Nazca Lines of Peru, the mysterious ancient geoglyphs. It's a UNESCO heritage site, probably built by aliens. Well, Japanese scientists in Peru say that they've just discovered a new formation that's never been seen before. It's huge, it's measuring 98 feet long. Um, the geoglyph depicts a large creature, a mythical beast with many different legs. Let's go full screen on this, maybe you could see it. Well, it looks like absolutely nothing, but if it's filled in, there you see uh, Marge, it, what, no, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it looks like some mythical creature with a bunch of legs, and then you can see at the front there, it's got it's got its little tongue sticking out. Uh, it dates back to 400 BC, somewhere between 400 and 200 BC. Um, yeah, they were walking along these these plateaus and basically came across this new formation that no one's ever seen before. And it, it, it's it's kind of concentrated in this one area in the arid arid desert of Peru. And there's some incredible images that we have here. I mean, you see different animals like shaped like birds and all sorts of different weird Little stuff. And a lot of people say it's aliens because it's like, well, how the hell did they see what they were doing if they didn't have the ability to get that high up? You know, it's kind of crazy. <sighs> Look, I, I love Aliens. I love Mel Gibson. I'm a fan of Signs. I like that movie. This is not the case here. Clearly, we're talking about an ancient society that um, had a very ritualistic way of doing things. Some people say that this was sort of an observatory where they something related to the solstice. Um, it, could, yeah. it could be a number of things, but they clearly. Um, you did this and your reasoning me and your, my rationale your rationale I don't, I don't <laughs> we have a picture of the skulls of the nazca people they used to bind their okay, skulls okay definitely alien you're and, right and, and make has. themselves look like you know these alien things there's just such it's such a cool culture they disappeared <laughs> they kind of just like disappeared off the face of the earth once yeah. the incan empire rose they kind of pushed them out but i mean as people they're so intriguing to me you know the mysterious around that, that shrouds this whole thing. It's, it's just so cool to me that they were doing this yes. kind of stuff. Do we know how far deep it was down? Did they have to dig? This one is actually far, uh, pretty deep because it's so old yet it's still around. And like, you'd think it's obviously not a very windy place if dirt hasn't you know, covered it in thousands of years. You know? So all it really is is just, yeah, these, these lowered levels of earth. Mm -hmm. Aliens or no? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Okay, uh, yes, yes, I believe you. in aliens, yes. <laughs> Look, that one's a monkey. It's pretty awesome. That is kind of cool. I mean, I guess his tail kind of resembles a, a crop circle. Look, this is <laughs> this is a pretty interesting find. Are they going to leave it there? Can they? Is there anything extractable? Do we know? Or is it just they're going to leave it there? No, no, they're going to leave it there. Do you? Uh, a, a, a few years ago, I remember Greenpeace did this whole like they wanted to draw attention to you know conserving you know conservation and conserving these ancient sites and they ill fated they went, task. They went to this. the actual Nazca lines and then put down these huge banner, these huge words next to the sign saying you know time for change, the future is renewable. And then in doing that, sort of they actually damaged the Nazca lines walking around there. Decimating the ancient um, renewable, my ass, huh? Right. <laughs> it was well intentioned. It was, it was, but you don't. The stop road to on hell it. is also paved with, with pretty good. <laughs> Look, this is an awesome, awesome story. The fact that these these animals existed, obviously they existed, and they, they were able to capture them. The red pebbling. Do we know how they did it? Was it with stones? Do we know? I mean, it's just outlined, yeah, with different stones, and it's it's lower. They, they they dug the holes, but like I don't I don't know this thing. What what the hell is it? Like this is obviously some sort of bird. The other thing's obviously a monkey, but this, it kind of just looks like I don't know, like spaghetti or something. Not this one, but the actual <laughs> new one that the Japanese researchers found. It literally just looks like spaghetti to me. Look at that, or like the writing on the ISIS flag, or or. or hey, something. there you go. Ancient ISIS. I could see that. I could see that. It's weird. Uh, either way. Aliens or not, these Japanese researchers are, are pretty excited about it, and apparently we are too over here at the lip. I think this is cool, but what do you guys think? Aliens or just weird formations?